G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knacker's Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knacker's Yard, and this will be Nat pissing around with stuff that he doesn't quite understand and has never done before, yet again. Um, I'm going to go for a bit of nickel plating. I've got to give it a go. Why? Because the bolts I've dragged out of the Super Dream, the current project, um, were pretty ratty. Um, I've chucked them through various cleaning processes. They're currently sat in brake cleaner. They're not great, but they're considerably better than they were. All the bolts live in the underside of the engine. They're not going to be seen. However, if I put them in having cleaned them off and therefore stripped off a lot of their plating, um, they're just going to rust and stay in place. So I thought I'd try nickel plating. Now, first thing to do is to produce the electrolyte for it. So I have in here uh, white vinegar. Done in the least cost effective way, i.e. from the shop at the top of the hill. It's not a Tesco's, but it sells Tesco stuff. And nickel electrolytes or anodes, not electrolytes, anodes, um, bought from eBay when searching for nickel anodes. Uh, so I just need to connect them up, positive, negative. The bit of cardboard's there just to make sure they don't fall over as much as anything else. Um, not that it makes a great deal of difference, but I'm just going to connect it up to my power supply. My power supply is a stripped out uh, phone charger, an old stripped out phone charger that's not plugged in. Um, and I've just put a couple of bulldog clips on the top, or a couple of clips on the top. So I'm gonna get those connected and we'll see what happens. Right, and there we go, power on. And we know it's working because I have bubbles galore that you can just about see, to make you a decent angle coming off the negative side and the positive like side is looking kind of normal oh look at that and i'm starting to get a green already now allegedly when it goes green it's done <laughs> and that's been sort of 30 seconds and it's starting so uh, we'll leave that to do its thing there's them bubbles i was trying to show you going great guns it's only been a few minutes Wow, so we're about an hour and a half in. Um, I've moved it around a little bit because my cardboard kind of collapsed. Hope it hasn't cocked it up too much, but I've got a nice colour there. Um, now the uh, description I got from a video that I, if, if I can remember or work out how I'll link, um, was talking about a uh, watered down Gatorade. Now this being the UK, I have no freaking clue what the colour of that is. That's actually a decent colour there. Um, it's a little bit disjointed because I'm I'm packing the bike for a bit of a uh, bit of a trip. Um, more of that to follow. I say a bit of a trip. It's about 150 miles, which is the most I've covered. And this in Awana uh, as a as a short range commute bike. So that that will follow under 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 a separate cover. Um, but yeah, a um, little bit disjointed. But my electrolyte is getting there. I think I'll probably give it another half hour or so. Uh, and then uh, uh, and knock it on the head, bottle it back up because um, it's supposed to stay good forever as long as it is uh, kept in an airtight container. So uh, I'll bottle it back up once I'm done. But yeah, that's so cool. In science, brilliant. Okay, so it's been going for a couple of hours. I thought I'd whip it out, but I thought I'd show you. The positive has pretty much pretty much gone which is kind of cool which makes sense it's now in the liquid to a degree please correct me if i'm wrong um a little bit of tarnish on the negative but i'm going to bottle that up and we'll go for some coating at a later point i'm just, it's it's relatively late i'm uh bike's just about packed up okay so several days later um yeah, it's been a bit of a disrupted one. Um, I had to nip down to deepest, darkest Kent for the family for a for a family funeral. Um, I'll uh, 
it did give me the opportunity to do a good long ride on Ivan the uh, the uh, ER6N um, and do a bit of a, a long road review because I don't often get the opportunity to do that on the bike so I nipped down on my own left the family here uh, and just kind of overnighted um, and I'll, I'll put that up that'll be a separate one a, a decent road review um, of the ER6 because routinely I just belt it in and out of London um, I've been doing bits and pieces so my electrolytes all done for my nickel coating I've had a few goes to varying degrees of success and failure but uh, I'm going to go through one of those in a second. Um, Midweek I did whip out the bits that I had been um, uh, rust removing uh, and then in a rush to get to the funeral I left them on the side and they re-rusted so they've been in, um, it was just flash rust, so they've been in, um, uh, in uh, vinegar just getting rid of the flash rust and I'm now making sure that whilst I'm not using them, they are covered in oil. Um, ditto with a brake selector or with a geared drum um, that, you know, now done nice and immaculate again. Uh, and what I'm going to do is whip it out of that vinegar later and just chuck it in a pot with some oil so that it doesn't uh, flash rust again. And then put that to the side until I get to um, pulling it all back together. So let me get you set up, and I'll get set up, and we'll, and we'll have a go at nickel plating. Right. So first things first, I'm doing this in batches of three. I've got gloves on because I think the grease from my hands has made an impact on the others. Um, I did follow some advice on the uh, de-rusting about I didn't have the bolts in line of sight I had the so I went for the second attempt to think of a sandwich so I had um, positive at the bottom no nope, wrong negative then all the kit on top of it and then the plate hanging at the top um, just so I got direct line of sight onto the um, onto the badger I can put a bit I'm going to chuck that on my wheel for a second because it's a bit grotty um, you know, I'm not after perfect results on this. I'm just aware that if I put them on the bike like this, they're going to rust my on in instantly. Just excuse me. There we go. A tiny bit better. Um, yeah, so I'm not after an immaculate result <clears throat> I just want something with a bit of coating on it that might might help it uh, so what I've got is a really quite crappy bendy bit of wire with three slots in it so that I can do that that And drop it in, nicely submerged, my positive, you can see my slightly beaten now piece of, uh, oh, piece of material, and what I'm trying to do is get them in reasonably close to each other. Right, that'll do, plug in should get an immediate response we do and we get bubbly 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 which is all on the opposite side than you are which is not useful there we go that might be a little bit better uh, bit of zoom Zoop. you see them bubbling away coating away. Right, that's about 20 minutes worth, so what I'm going to do in the meantime is go through the bolts I've done, measure them up, and stick them back in my map so I know where they go and they go back on the bike. So I'm going to give that about 10 minutes worth, pull it out, spin them around, move them around, swap them around so that they don't all just get coated on one side. 
and, and then see how we go. It's actually not a great deal of material in that because it's growing at a dodgy angle. Like, and you can see that the closest one is actually getting quite a fair amount on there, and the further one, not a lot. I think what I'm going to do is change that pod over and have a little bit of a play with the setup. I do have the longer one left. better and just the wires pulling it in the wrong direction that's better a lot better reaction right I'll leave that whacking away doing its thing uh, while I sort these bolts out right that's had about 10 minutes I'll take power off before I start pissing around Nickel. I did chuck in another bolt again because it wasn't done very well. I've got four bolts in there at the moment. Can you see? Let's just boost you up a bit. Okay. We're starting to get something on them. Just spin them around a bit. Aspect facing. That's the one that I think I missed. I'm just going to try and get a little bit more material in the up when I put the connector on and it will pull it in a different direction. That's better. A little bit more liquid. Yeah. That's better. Right, put power on, get a few more bubbles going to it. Give it another no, no, 10 minutes or so, 15. I love that that's quite so instant. Ooh. Hubble, bubble, toy and trouble. Right, so, what, 20 minutes long enough for me to chuck a bucket of water over the bike. Not one for polishing bikes to within an inch of their life. But it's also not to say that I want it covered in rude salt and crap. So it's very rough now where that's been pulled away. What can you see? Can you see what I see? I'm just bothered about gloves now because the process is complete. Well, it's certainly covered in something. Right. That's warm. Which would make sense. Tuck it away because it is a glass bottle and I will knock it over. And 
like I said earlier, theoretically that lives forever. As long as I don't contaminate it, spill it. Now. Kick it. Get off your bugger. Right. So not too bad, has to be said. Not too bad at all. Definitely better than my first attempts. I think more time and more movement seems to be the way forward. It's probably best to do them one at a time, frankly, but I've not quite got the patience for that. So it's a bit light on one side there where I didn't, where it's been exposed more on one side than the other. Ditto on this one is a bit lighter complete. So I think if you want to do it properly, do them one at a time. Lesson learned, if you take things out of white vinegar, they will flash rust. <laughs> so, not sponsored by GT85, it just happens to be what I reach when I put my hand out. See what I'm doing. Forgot to spray that off. Three, seven, turn to one. Three, seven again, up to one. And that's a one. Right, so we are. Bolts ready to go back in. It's a beautiful day. I didn't see my family yesterday, or I didn't see my household family much. Uh, well, Friday or Saturday with traveling and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to do me for the day. I'm going to mess around with the missus and the kids, hopefully in the sun. Now that Ivan is nice and cleaned up. He's not going to get polished. He doesn't get polished. He's not that sort of bike. <laughs> Cheers all. I'll catch you later. Ta-da.